We have a 2001 Toyota Land Cruiser in for what seems to be a familiar setup for us now which is a Alpine navigation up front and an Alpine roof screen. So PKG 2100P. Let me just show you that that folds up. It has dome lights on which come on and off with the door opening and closing as to replicate interior lights which it has replaced. Sunroof still slides back and forth. Cover, just the cover, we'll show you the cover now. But the actual glass roof does go back and forth, we just need the uh, ignition fully on. So, roof screen open. Now that is displaying the video which is being played from the front. We can have that playing its own source as well, so if we hit the source button, select button, it's going to go to the roof screen's own DVD mech, which is playing something else. There we are. So we'll leave that picture for a second. We saw that the front was playing something different. So in the front, we can now change the source to radio, we'll change again to iPod, we'll change again to what was coming out of, or what was being produced on the Alpine screen. So we're going to move the vehicle so we've got a bit more light. Okay, so we think we've got a bit more light. So this unit is obviously currently playing the DVD which is in the roof screen. Um, Again, change that source to the DVD which is inside. Let's change that source to radio. Now, for example, if we had the front screen DVD playing, but we wanted to see the map whilst driving, if we hit the nav map, the DVD still plays in the split screen. So this unit on its own will do radio, CD, DVD, uh, it's got auxiliary input, it's got iPod and USB connection, so we've got that running on our iPhone, which you can control the iPhone from. Uh, it does full European navigation, and it has speed camera database loaded onto there as well. So if we zoom the unit out, we can see up in the corner here, there's a speed camera, which is a 30 mile hour limit. Um, very simple, very easy to use system. Uh, we want to do our uh, destination entry we can choose from any of the European countries and obviously address postcode you name it you can search it I'm assuming you guys have all used Navi before it does have phone so you can do Bluetooth setup on this it will transfer all of your call history as well so dialed calls received calls and missed calls you've got two um, speed dials the redial and obviously multiple phones can be connected as well as full phone book access um, and let's also show you the usage of the iPod. Um, again, quite comprehensive. So at the moment, it's just found the last song we're listening to. We can search that album artist, track, title, you name it, you can search it. So we do artist. Uh, Beyonce. And that song. Straight away, it's on there. Um, cool thing again, so we can go uh, videos this time, we'll go um, movies, um, let's do a, a quick Pixar, so we'll hit bounding, um, so the Pixar comes up, oh no I must have hit on Josh, so let's go search, movies, movies, Bounding, sorry guys, hit on drive before. So now we're watching iPod in the front, iPod video. Of sound. Now, obviously, two cool things is obviously if we want the Navi map, we st still can see Pixar. But of course, we can see that in the back. So the kiddies, if they want to watch what you were watching up front, simply select the different mode. And now we have Pixar in the back too. Everyone can hear it. So a dual system, again quite popular from us now, allowing everybody in the family to have any source of entertainment. Again, guys in the back can use wireless infrared headphones, 
uh, or everyone can hear it through the sound system. Really good setup for under £2,000 installed.